coming? No. Nope. It'll be a once in a lifetime experience. No, it won't. Oh. Everybody's going. Don't exaggerate, Percy. I'm not going. Mrs. Miggins from the pie shop isn't going. Oh, my lord, you are cruel. You know perfectly well that Mrs. Miggins is bedridden from the nose down. <laughs> and besides, she is honouring the occasion in her own special way by baking a great commemorative pie in the shape of an enormous pie. <laughs> what an imagination that woman has. <laughs> oh, come on, Edmund. The greatest explorer of our age is coming home. The streets have never been so gay. Women are laughing, children are singing. Oh, look, look, there's a man being indecently assaulted by nine foreign sailors and he's still got a smile on his face. Look, Percy, the return of Sir Walter, ooh, what a big ship I've got, Raleigh, is a matter of supreme indifference to me. Look, if you're not careful, all the children will dance about outside your window singing Sour Puss and Grumpy Face. And you wouldn't want that, now, would you? I believe I could survive it. Now, Percy, will you get out before I cut your head off, scoop out the insides, and give it to your mother as a vase? <laughs> what a clot. The most absurdly dressed creature in Christendom. <laughs> With one exception. <laughs> my lord? Baldrick, you look like a deer. Thank you, my lord. You look a bit of a ducky yourself. <laughs> oh, God. What do you want? Well, I was wondering if I might have the afternoon off. Of course not. Who do you think you are? What, Tyler? <laughs> you can have the afternoon off when you die, not before. <laughs> but I want to cheer brave Sir Walter home. Oh, dear sir. On a day like today, I feel proud to be a member of the greatest kingdom in the world. And doubtless many other members of the animal kingdom feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Look, will you shut up? Now the explorers punch off to Mumbo Jumbo Land, come <laughs> home with a tropical disease, a suntan and a bag of brown lumpy things. <laughs> and Bob's your uncle, everyone's got a picture of them in the lavatory. <laughs> I mean, what about the people who do all the work? The servants. Now me, I'm the people who do all the work. I mean, look at this. What is it? I'm surprised you've forgotten, my lord. I haven't forgotten. It's a rhetorical question. No, it's a potato. But... <laughs> to you, it's a potato. To me, it's a potato. But to Sir Walter Bloody Raleigh, it's country estates, fine carriages, and as many girls as his tongue can cope with. <laughs> He's making a fortune out of the things. People are smoking them, building houses out of them. <laughs> we'll be eating them next. <laughs> Edmund comes in and says, Hello, Baldrick. You haven't seen Percy, have you? And you say, uh, No, my lord, I haven't seen him all day. Brilliant! Oh, my God, here he comes! Uh, hello, Baldrick. Well, where the hell's that cretin Percy? You haven't seen him, have you? Yes, my lord, he's hiding in the box. <laughs> <laughs>